Hey guys, Baltrish Pretzel here, and sorry if I sound a little groggy. I am still trying to sleep off um, my weekend. <laughs> I had a little too much alcohol, so this was on Saturday or Monday now. I slept like all of yesterday. I barely ate, but I slept through all of yesterday, and so today I'm just sort of like recovering from my lack of eating and oversleeping. Um, anyways, so this is... Uh, a new house, obviously. Um, patio Paradise. It came out to 84,503 simoleons. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom, and I built it on a 20 by 20 lot. Um, so here we go. It's a very simple house shape. Um, a very basic house with a little cutout in the back that becomes our back porch. Um, Yep, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out what look to go with here for, you know, column wise because realistically speaking, um I don't think that, that sort of the upstairs part that's over the um over the back porch would actually support itself. So, you know, I needed some columns and I do add um well, I do add some more support uh out there eventually. You'll you'll see soon. Um so I was just working on the floor plan for the for the upstairs and I realized that if I wanted there to be two decent sized bedrooms I needed to make the house a little bit bigger so I just made it longer by one square length and yeah um I use a lot of small windows in this one actually I pretty much only have the big windows up front and the rest of it is um small windows like I mean there's the one one or two large ones at the back at the top but Everything else is just those tiny square windows. Um, there is a lot of natural light in here despite the size of the windows, but they still maintain a lot of free wall space. Um, yeah. <laughs> so at this point, I couldn't get the, that, um, because of the stairs, the line across the two floors of white trim just did not want to work there, so I just put a bunch of plants. Um, to cover it up. I mean, it looks really pretty, and because this is a very floral um, piece of land, you, you guys will see that in the end of the video, I promise, um, having plants all over the top and, uh, uh, sorry, all over the walls of the house actually does make sense. Um, so here I was just working on the front a little bit. I wasn't ready to get into the furnishing just yet. Um, so I'm just doing a little flower bush area. Um, and I think it's really cute. It's, you know, pink and white. It's a bit of red for a little more pop, but it's, you know, pretty simple in color. Um, I'm working on a couple of trees with some plants all around it because, well, why not? <laughs> um, placing the mailbox, and we are about to meet the family, so I'm going to stop talking for now. It seems that we've reached the part of the video where I introduce you guys to the family. So this is Aubrey Fry. She has the master chef aspiration. She's a foodie, she's outgoing, and she's an insider. Um, let's just take a quick look at her outfits. I feel like I haven't made a sim with a hat in a really, really long time, so I decided to give her one. So this is her everyday outfit. Here is her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. Up next we have her husband Max Fry. Um, he is an outdoor enthusiast, or that's his aspiration. He's active, he loves the outdoors, and he's outgoing. Let's take a quick look through his outfit. So this is his everyday look. Here's his formal, his athletic, his sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. And last, we have their only daughter, their only child, Abigail Fry. She uh, has the artistic prodigy aspiration, and she's cheerful. So here's her everyday outfit with an adorable little colorful pineapple. <laughs> here's her formal, her athletic, her sleep, her party, and her somewhere. And there you have it. That is the Fry family. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to the furnishing, or get to the furnishing, um, that is once I changed the household name. <laughs>
All right, so we've met the family. We've seen this house start to take its shape, and now we're just going to go ahead and furnish it a little bit. So that's sort of the perfect area to just put a little couch. Um, so you have a little reading nook in this area because I'm not actually sure if I put a bookcase um, in on the ground floor. So at least you have a little reading nook upstairs on the landing, and it's a nice way to fill up that somewhat awkwardly shaped space. Um, it would have looked, you know, the flow of the house would have been better if the door to the balcony was in the master bedroom, but I wanted it to be accessible to anyone without having to walk through your parents' room. So, yeah, you know, I think I made it work. <laughs> so here I'm working on the master bedroom. Um, I didn't really know what to do for this house. Like, I didn't really have an interior vibe idea. I didn't really have anything planned out. Um... The outside, however, I was like, I could see it really clearly how I wanted it to look. Um, but the inside, I was just sort of finding items and trying to make them look good together because I honestly had no ideas what to do with it. <laughs> um, you know, I try to fit the basics. I have, you know, your bed, your dressers, mirror, your desk. Um, I managed to fit an easel in there. Um, I didn't really know what to do for this room because I... Honestly, my only idea for this house was how the exterior was going to look. I didn't know what kind of sims I'd have move in here. I didn't know what style of the interior of the house. So I was just sort of looking for inspiration to fill out that little empty wall area. Um, and I don't remember what I put. <laughs> I built this house a while ago. I'm just doing this voiceover last minute. Um, yeah. Okay, so it looks like I just put that plant and then just some paintings on the wall. I actually had a hard time finding paintings that I liked for this build. Um, there's I don't have that much wall space on the ground floor to work with, so that wasn't so bad. But while I was working on the bedrooms, I just I didn't know what to put on the walls. Um, so here goes some little random. I don't know. It's a, it's a room separator, right? And I'm just trying to use it as decoration because I didn't know what else to put in there. Um, and I felt like it needed some extra pop to it, so I put that little grass um, plant through the uh, through the bars, just to give it a little something, a little visual kick. Um, yeah, I think it actually looks really cute with that. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. I put a couple curtains up. Uh, I do not think I put a rug in there. Um, yeah. Okay, so I actually, I don't know if that bookcase is accept, uh, accessible, but it looks good. And, I mean, worst comes to worst, you have a full bookcase in the hall that is fully accessible. So, I really mainly put it there for the look. Um, so, here I was trying to find a way to get some proper lighting in there so that if one of the sim parents was sleeping, they'd still be able to uh, read without you know, light shining into the other parent's eyes. So I needed a little, <laughs> I needed the room back, first of all, um, but I needed a small little s side table lamp, and that worked. It was small and wasn't too bright. And then for the other parent on the other side, an overhanging, a wall lamp just above where they're sleeping. Um, yeah. Anyway, so... I am just working on the lighting, trying to get something cute in there, and it doesn't work out, so I just put a ceiling lamp. <laughs> um, next, we have the daughter's bedroom. Um, so I was just trying to find anything. I was hoping to use a bed I hadn't used before, um, like the wire framed one, and I just I didn't like the colors uh, for the room. I wasn't feeling any of them, so I went with a bed I already used. Whoops. <laughs> um... So next build, I will challenge myself a little bit. Next build, I will try and do a um, base game only or base game in one pack only uh, house so that any anyone out there can download it as long as they have The Sims base game um, because I have been making a lot of houses that have used items from pretty much every pack. So I'm going to go ahead and tr you know get as basic of a house as possible. Um, I don't know if it'll be a starter build or if it'll be, you know, a family, a relatively large family home. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where my inspiration takes me. Um, but I will have a 
um, Starter House coming soon. Uh, but Starter House. Well, if I don't make it, if I don't make the base game video of Starter House, I will make the Starter House, including every pack. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Let's let's get back to the actual build that I'm working on right now. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to decorate a little bit, make it look lived in. So that's why I added those little decorations on the ground. And by decorations on the ground, I mean mess. Um, <laughs> you know, she's a kid. Maybe she's just just a little messy. Why not? You know, you're a kid. You're allowed to be messy. Um. Yeah. So here I am, just trying to find junk to put on the walls because I I had I was just out of ideas at this point, honestly. As you can probably tell by the fact that I put a bunch of fairy lights on the wall. Um. But yeah, we're pretty much done this bedroom, and we start on the downstairs. Um. Are you guys surprised that I did not start furnishing with the, like, I didn't, my furnishing plan did not start with the bathroom. I actually did the bedrooms first. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I usually do the bathrooms first. Um, anyways, I actually kind of like this bathroom. Uh, it's, you know, a two by four room, but I managed to fit a tub and a shower and everything in without putting everything against one wall, which is what I normally do for the bathrooms this size. Um, and I think it's really, really cute, actually. You know, there's a little bath mat on the ground, plants in the corner. I really like it. And there's a decent amount of natural light, but the windows are so small that you still have, you know, privacy. Um, anyways, <laughs> just lighting it up a little bit and yeah, moving on. Um, so I'm starting off by shaping the living room and placing it, though I do change it around. Um, and you guys will see that relatively soon. But I do keep the furniture the same when I when I move the uh, when I move the living room to another part of the house. Um, yeah, so just trying to find the right look for this house, the right tables to put in. Um, and I really like having that thin table. It's a little higher up. I think it just works out. I think it works better than the lower tables. Um, so in this little nook area, I wanted to put the kitchen. And it was tiny, but I really, really like how it looked there. Um, I thought it was... I don't know. I think it was just a beautiful placement. I really liked it. Um, and it had those overhead cabinets just for extra storage. Had everything you needed, you know. It has a microwave, a stove, a sink, a fridge, garbage. Um, there's a bit of decoration on one of the counters, but you still have one full counter um, empty, so your Sims can cook on. And the only reason I did not keep the kitchen where it was and the living room where it was was simply because I did not know where to put the dining room table. I know you don't need one, um, I know you can just eat on the couch, by the TV, on the coffee table, but I really wanted a dining table and it just didn't work, it didn't fit nicely. Um, it just made for a really awkward flow of the house, so I end up switching out the rooms that the kitchen and the living room are in. It still works, honestly I don't think it's as nice, but I mean it works out. It works out, and you have one more, you know, you have a little bit more counter room and a couple more cabinets, so more storage. Um, but, yeah, anyways, the living room still works out great. It's still the same size. Uh, the only thing we don't have anymore is the coffee table because it just sort of squished everything in too tightly, but the flow of the house makes a lot more sense. The only thing that'll suck is you'll interrupt someone's television watching every time you walk to the bathroom. You'll just block the screen a little bit. Um, but I mean, it works out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I can put the fruit bowl, which I love using in this build because I didn't want to take up more counter space and it just took over the entire dining room table. I was really upset about that. Um, but anyways, and I'm just trying to fill up the empty spaces with some decorations, some plants, some rugs, some wall decorations, just anything I could do to make the space look a little less empty. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of a painting, another one there, coat hanger, and I put a shoe rack in there as well, um, and it really fills up that entrance without having to put any walls or any 
big pieces of furniture that'll just really crowd it up too much. Um, yeah. So I think we're getting close to the end of this build. It's a it's a pretty short video. It didn't take me very long to make. Um, I'm excited to get to the outside though. <laughs> so here we go, starting with the back um the back deck. I just put a lot of seating in there. Um I think it would be just a really cool outdoor space, you know. There's there's plants around it, you're a little bit enclosed, so you still get some privacy while still being outside and having so many different views of the outdoors. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to keep it very natural looking. Lots of plants, lots of... Well, yeah, just lots of plants, you know. Just a little bit of light. Just and put some candles as well, because I find that that's a more natural looking light. Um, and yeah, I decided not to change the foundation in the end. Um, I like I like that it's a little thicker and bulkier than the walls of the house. So, And here I am starting to add a bunch of plants all around, trying to make it look very floral and nature-loving. And then I thought, you know, maybe I'll make the whole backyard sort of a pool area. It'll be a sort of little, um, oh, what is that called? Just, you know, a little bit of, a little piece of land that you could put some wood flooring on for them to for the sims to get into the pool area um or stone in that case and i was just like no it does not look good so i end up just putting a little pool off to the side there um well it's, it's, it's a decent side pool decent sized pool it's not that small but a lot smaller than what i was originally going for but i think it looks really cool so i just put a couple more trees in there um, and I completely fill that grassy area with plants. Um, that, that corner is just, it gets filled up with plants. Just, you know, maybe whoever lived here did a bit of landscaping in their time, you know, planted a couple photo. uh, I was gonna say planted a couple of photos. What is, what is wrong with my brain today? Okay, planted a few plants, and then they just sort of overgrew, you know, she didn't, he or she, whoever planted the original garden, didn't really take out the overgrowth. When the flowers start to spread out and take more room, you just sort of let them, and you end up with this huge, crowded floors, like, um, foresty flower patch thing. Anyways, um, we chuck in a little bit of a barbecue and a nice, uh, nice seating area and a couple more seats by the pool, just... A little bit of a lounge area so you can relax by the pool. Um, if you're a parent, you can look after your kid and their friends, you know, swimming, make sure they don't drown or anything. I remember when I was a kid and I went over to my neighbor's house to swim. Uh, we were not allowed in the pool unless her one of her older sisters or her parent was out there keeping an eye on us, even though we were both able to swim. We'd both taken, like, swimming lessons when we were younger, but... Yeah, anyways, <laughs> moving on, just lighting up the outside. Um, I have to remember to chuck in an outdoor bin somewhere uh, in this uh, lot, you know, so that your little garbage in the kitchen doesn't get too full and too smelly. Um, and there it is. And I just put some more plants because, I mean, that little area is just so empty compared to the rest of the lot. So I size up some plants and then just sort of make it a huge floral bush arrangement um anyway so here are the screenshots and this place is adorable i honestly i'd like to live here i've always wanted a relatively large house you know especially a place that has a huge kitchen um but the exterior is so pretty that it sort of makes up for this to me a tiny kitchen um but yeah i hope you guys like this build if you did please give it a thumbs up hit subscribe check out my other videos as always there's a link in the description below to where you can download this house this family and everything else i've created and shared onto the gallery um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys have a very lovely day bye